This is Stone Contact Sport and today we are testing AMD's SAM on the RX 5700 XT because they enabled it in a driver update. So AMD rolled out a driver update yesterday that enabled AMD SAM on the 5700 XT and I decided to go ahead and test it. So I've been testing it in five different games at three different resolutions. The test system I used uh, consisted of the AMD Ryzen R5-5600X, this thing, on the ASRock B550M Pro 4 motherboard. Uh, along with that went 32 gigabytes of the DDR4 memory running at 3600 MHz at CL18. So pretty loose timings but uh, fairly cheap memory. Well, at least the timings are cheap. The dominators are not particularly cheap. Uh, I decided to test 9 games and uh, here are the results. In Anno 1800 there is a small 3% increase in performance at 1080p with SAM enabled. This decreases to a single percent at 1440p and stays at 1% at 4k. So these results are pretty much within margin of error. So let's take a look at the next game which is Assetto Corsa Competizioni. In ACC there is really no difference in performance with SAM enabled. At 1440p we see a minor performance increase, but it's safe to say in this game SAM is not doing anything for us. Apex Legends is next and it's uh, still a rather boring result here, with there being virtually no difference at 1080p, 1440p or 4k. Not exactly what I'd hope for, but uh, maybe Assassin's Creed Valhalla can yield some interesting results. While we do see a minor increase at 1080p, it really looks like March November again and we're not really gaining any performance here. On the bright side, we're not really losing any performance either, so you can enable it without any major drawbacks. Moving on to control, and as we see before, there is a minor increase at 1080p, which could just be variance, and at 1440p and 4K there is no benefit in running SAM. But again, there is also no downside in running SAM, which is also important. Next up is Cyberpunk 2077, again at 1080p, there is a 5% increase in performance, but this fades away at 1440p and 4K. You might see more of an increase with a lower quality preset, I don't know, but with all the eye candy on, there is no meaningful difference. A game which do see a benefit is Doom Eternal, here we see an almost 15% increase by enabling SAM at 1080p. At 1440p this is down to 12% but still a definitive improvement in performance and at 4k it jumps up to 16% which is a welcome increase and puts our C.1% low above 60 frames per second. So for Doom enabling SAM is a must if you can. In Rainbow Six Siege we again see slight improvements at 1080p of 4%. At 1440p that is down to 3% and at 4k it's pretty much identical. Uh, the performance is pretty much identical with no meaningful difference between SAM enabled or disabled. Shadow of the Tomb Raider is our second to last game and here we once again see a minor 3% increase at 1080p and at 1440p while at 4k any benefit is gone and the performance is pretty much identical. Saving the best for last, uh, in Forza Horizon 4 enabling SAM is like enabling beast mode for the 5700 XT, at 1080p the performance jumps up 21%, which is massive and insane, but yeah. Uh, this is down to 15% at 1440p, which is a st still a pretty large improvement, and at 4K we see a 10% gain by enabling SAM. So if you're playing Horizon 4, eagerly awaiting Horizon 5, enabling SAM is a must. Let's take a look at the average performance difference with SAM enabled and disabled. At 1080p we see an average performance increase of just under 6%, and this is of course largely due to Doom and Forza. If we remove these games, the average increase would be just over 2%. At 1440p we see a smaller 4% gain on average, and that is down to 3% at 4K. So based on these results, you should enable AMD SAM on a 5000 series GPU if you have not done so already. Uh, but you should not expect a large performance boost because we only saw those in Doom Eternal and Forza Horizon 4 and I'm sure there are some more games that also see very good performance increases from enabling AMD SAM. 
but uh, most games probably see a couple of percentage difference. Uh, basically, every time I tested it, it was in favor of AMD SAM, so go ahead and enable it. Go ahead and get the couple of extra percentage performance. It will probably help you, even though you might not notice it, but I'm sure it's, it, it, it's a welcome improvement. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Thank you so much for watching and farewell.